Hey guys, it's Dante here and today's video I'm gonna show you three of my favorite transitions on After Effects. We're doing from the easiest transition to the hardest transition, so better be ready. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, like TT channel. So well, let's go right into it. Bring your layers to the timeline. We're gonna right click here and what is a mask, we're gonna put what is a new mask. Now we have our mask and we're gonna press M to our keyboard and click the clock on mask path. This first frame, it will be go here. We're gonna double click the mask. This time I'll do it just that it comes to up to down like that. Now you select them, press F9, graph and do it like another transition. Don't forget to turn on the motion blur and click both of them. And if you don't like that, you can also still playing with the graph. That looks cool. And now we choose another picture. This time this will be... And well, in this time you just have to make the same process. That's it. I would put it just a little bit here. Something that I always do with this transition is this. I have to boost all your layers. And now we're gonna just mask the center. And with this thing, now I can play with the scale and the position of this one. And I can make another one with the same process and put it on the right or on the left so I will have two of course in this case I will make another one I'm just duplicating from the original because this is just a tutorial I will make the whole thing but you already know how to make it so if you do it you, you will have an amazing scene and it will look amazing it will look cool so well that's it let's go with this transition so bring your clip or your video or your picture to the timeline and see now these are points where it has to happen the transitions you know bring your next picture in this case we're gonna make an opacity transition and for make it smoother you're gonna put it before the transition supposed to start that will make it look smoother trust me T in your keyword to see the opacity and now click the clock to create a frame at the first frame you will put it just where you want the opacity transition ends and the first frame has to be in the beginning with zero. So now we have our opacity transition. The next thing we're gonna do is decrease the scale. And you can put it around 60. I will put it around 60. And now we're gonna add motion tile. Increase both sides. Don't turn mirror edge yet. Now we're gonna create a new object. And we're gonna assign our two pictures to the null. So now in our null, we're gonna make a zoom in transition. So press S in your keyword, click the clock, and the first frame is where you want the transition starts. And the last one, gonna increase the scale till you see the second picture fills the whole scene. Now you're gonna select them both frames and make a smooth graph. Uh, you can also play around with the settings, reposition, play with the graph, blah blah blah. Now you can turn our mirrors edge because you're already done with the part of seeing when you are filling the whole scene. Hope you got me. And now it's almost the same process with the next part. You just have to pick another picture or clip, of course. It's the same process. You will have to make an opacity transition first. You can copy the same frames as the previous one. Now you're gonna create another null, but this time you have to sign the picture with the first null and then sign that null with the new null you just create. Okay, now in, uh, this time we're not gonna make a zoom in transition, we're gonna make a zoom out. So well, it's the same thing with the frames, just that in this case, instead of increasing the scale, you will increase it. 
but you will have to increase the picture. I hope you got me, it's kinda confused to understand, but once you get it, it is really easy. So now as you can see it is not a smooth at all, the second transition. Select the frames, go to the graph and make a smooth graph. So yeah, that's it, it's pretty smooth. Something that I always do is pre-compose those layers. Now put my Fury Shake. Now you just add a adjustment layer and in that adjustment layer you will put camera lens blur. So don't forget to turn on this option. Now you will make a blur transition. So the first frame make sure that it's zero then the second frame around 20 and the last one has to be zero again now select them f9 you can play with the graph and the stuff till you're happy and then you just copy those frames to the next transition and that's it looks really really cool Hey guys, before we go to the last transition, let me tell you a little bit about the app that sponsored this video. It's Funimate. Funimate is an advanced video editing app, alternative option for After Effects, for people who would like to edit on point. You should try it, link in the description. So well, now it's the last transition and it's the hardest transition from this trip. Uh, so well, let's start doing it. Bring your picture to the timeline and also you will have to bring a, a clip or a picture uh, without a background. And this transition requires that. Okay, so uh, you can increase or play around with the settings of those pictures, then bring another picture because we need three pictures here now you turn out the 3d mode and we're not gonna use a camera 3d so we're just gonna create a null object turn on the 3d mode to the null as well okay so now click here in view and put two view horizontal right now you just have to focus on the first two pictures and the third one you can turn off the side for a moment so play you will have to play first with the picture or the clip whatever uh, that will be in the middle of the transition so for this one you will have to bring your picture in this case picture to the front and now you will have to play with the scale as much as you want i will put it like that but maybe i will change it later because this transition needs to play a lot with the settings and now you will have to put it uh, in the right or in the left that's on you i will put it on right now select all your layers sign it with the null now with the null click p on your keyboard click the clock and the first frame is where you want the transition starts and now where you want the transition ends move it to the left in this case because it will go from right to left so that's it uh, you will have to move it to the middle like uh, the picture that you want to show is uh, that hue in this case so you want to show that hue so the first transition will be like to, to show that hue you got me Okay, now in this case, to not see those black borders there, you will have to play with the scale of the first picture and with the other picture too. I mean, that Hyun and Ion, you will have to play with the scale of them, the position. You can also add motion tile. You, you will have to play a lot. There is not a specific thing you have to do here. Don't forget to turn out the motion blur. Okay, so, well, as you can see, we just see a little point of, of the black border there, like there's a black space. Again, you will have to play with the position of it and that. You can also help yourself with motion tile and add a little bit just to that black space disappear. So increase a little bit, just 10 or 8, I don't know. Don't increase that much. I'm gonna increase a little bit more. A little bit more I think okay now I I don't see the black the black space there so well uh, I think there's a little bit of point there but well don't mind it no one is actually gonna see that little if you can say it like that mistake 
so don't, you don't have to worry about it now let's play with the second picture the second picture has to be in this case to the right too but you know there and you have to also bring a little bit to the front not as the the hume picture and now you will have to duplicate the first null and you will have to delete the last frame and you will keep the first frame now put it where you want the transition uh, goes and now move it to the left in this case till the hue in this case again disappears don't forget to play around with the graph so yeah as you can see it looks as smooth as hell you can also play with the position of the null a little bit more like move it everything to the front and you will have different results so hey guys this is the end of the video and i just wanted to ask you what tutorial you want next it is between these two or if you want another tutorial that it is not these two let me know also in the comments and i will read it don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and stay tuned for the next videos.